friends, I'm Pastor Eun Seo. How are you today? I'm so excited to share this time with y'all. So today I have a bag here with some papers and each paper has something written on it that shows a way we can help others. So I'm gonna pull out these papers and read what is written on that. Um, okay, here, it's the first one. Set the table for dinner, right? We can set the table for dinner helping our parents, right? And the other one is, okay, here. Open the door for others. Yes, right, we can open the doors for others. Mm -hmm. And, oh, here's the last one, what's that? Share my toys or snacks with friends, right? We can share our toys or snacks with our friends, right? I love all these ideas to help others. Just like we read these ideas, today we're going to hear a very similar story from the Bible. So in the early days of the church, all the believers were like a one big family. They shared everything they had and took care of each other. But as the church grew, some people started to feel left out, especially those who didn't speak the same language as everyone else. They were not getting enough food and absolutely this made them very sad. So the apostles who were the leaders of the church wanted to make sure everyone was treated fairly but they were very busy teaching about Jesus. So they decided to choose seven helpers to make sure everyone got the food they needed. So the apostles prayed for these seven helpers and laid their hands for them, which was a way of showing that these seven helpers were special people chosen by God. And these seven helpers did their jobs very well, so the apostles could focus on teaching about Jesus. And soon, everyone was very happy again because no one was left out. So more and more people gather and gather, the church grew and grew. You know, sometimes it is really hard for one person to do everything on their own. And that is the reason why it is so important to help each other. So just like today's story, we can also be helpers for each other and make sure no one feels left out. So Riceville Kids, this week, let us practice at least one way to help others. Okay, great. Let us ask um, the guide for wisdom through our prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us and teaching us for how to love others. Help us to share your love with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.